With about 1,500 residents, the population in Baldwin is smaller than some Duval County high schools. More than half the town will be in the stands when Baldwin hosts Taylor County Friday night. Brian Jackson's here. All right, Brian, explain this to us. Why does this game mean so much to this community? Well, it's because this is going to be the first time in school history that they've hosted a home playoff game. So it's a huge deal for everybody in Baldwin. Now, we went by practice this afternoon and grabbed a bite at a local diner right down the street from the school. One of the first things they said is, are you guys coming back for the game on Friday night? And they just live and breathe football in Indian County, in Indian country. Baldwin has been putting on a show this year. Finished the regular season at 9-1 and one and averaged 41 points per game. Now they just have to carry that into the playoffs. The Indians are winless in their five previous trips to the postseason. Coach Steve Shields told me that Taylor County is much better than their 5-5 five and five record. And he thinks the difference Friday night could be playing in front of their home crowd. It's a big deal, it really is. I mean, these uh, everybody in the community roots for us and they take care of us, and uh, we want to we wanna represent them and, and, uh, and bring playoff football here to Baldwin and let them come enjoy it and cheer for us, and we all enjoy it together. It is a big deal.